but can you tell us where you're from? Yeah, uh, my name is Eder Avogavir, and I'm from uh, Guatemala, and I live now in Pasco. And can you tell us, how did you come to, in, uh, initially come to this church? Well, it was uh, probably seven years ago when I first came to the United States. Um, I remember that uh, I was uh, watching uh, some white guys playing soccer from my house. So, you know, I love soccer. That's my, one of my biggest passions. And so I was like, okay, yeah, I don't have friends. I didn't know how to speak English. I still don't know. A little bit. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, as I could, I just went over there, uh, and I saw some of these uh, people, and I asked him if I could play with them. So that's how I started, like, coming to church. Yeah, they, eventually they invited me to come, so I started coming to church. And so after you came to church, can you tell us, when did you make a decision to follow Christ? Actually, um... I don't, exactly, I don't remember if it, if it took me like like a few months or, or I don't really remember. But uh, um, in those days, uh, I remember that I was fighting with my mom. <laughs> I ran away from home <laughs> after being here, what, four months? <laughs> so <laughs> my mom is here, so she can testify this true, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it just, it, I felt that emptiness, you know, and... Uh, and that's how I, you know, um, I drag myself to, to God, yeah. So now after you gave your life to Jesus Christ, how has your life been different since then? You said this happened about seven years ago. Uh, well, let me tell you this, and I got to be honest. Between uh, that year and this year, probably spent five years just with the same lifestyle that I had before. Like I, I used to go to clubs. I used to, you know play soccer instead of coming to church and all the problems that come with it, you know, with partying. And I used to kind of drink a little bit. I wasn't ever like a, drink, uh, a drunk guy or something. I, I never liked it, but, you know, if I would go to clubs and just, you know, mess uh, with people, girls and uh, alcohol and stuff like this. Uh, but it was until uh, Elijah Waters came last year when I was like, okay, you know, there was some a voice inside of me saying that, okay, if you, you will die to, tonight, I didn't know if I was going to go to hell, you know, or to, to, to heaven. So in, in that day, I just make a decision, and uh, I was like, okay, you know, I decided to follow Jesus like the son said, you know, and everything. A lot of things came clear to, to me. And so since that day, how has your life been different? Oh, way different. <laughs> yeah, because... Uh, well, before, I try, always, I try to be happy all the time, you know, but uh, sometimes I will get so mad that I will throw stuff, you know. Uh, my mom and my wife are here. They have seen how I've destroyed maybe like 10 phones already because <laughs> I used to get so mad and throw it, you know, just because some, like, uh, stupid things, you know, little things. And uh, I, you know, I almost uh, lost my wife. Uh, like two years ago, and uh, you know now is now is just way different. My life has changed a lot. Uh, I just realized, you know, that uh, the you know the devil cannot offer me something that is already mine. You know, God, if he tells me, oh, I'm gonna give you happiness, happiness, happiness. You know, God died for me, and he already gave me that. He already uh, gave me health, um, happiness. And, you know, it's just a good life, you know. So that's how my way different than before. And now, uh, after your life has changed since coming to know Christ, what are your goals now in helping other people and your goals even in the vision of this church? Um, well, I want this packed. <laughs> and I'm in charge of it. My mom is here. My cousin is here. And some other friends are here. Uh, are, are, are going to come too. And I will see that, you know, and it's not only my job, but you, your job and you guys' job too, to see this pl place packed. And um, do not ever think that you're just average person because mm -hmm. um, if God uh, sent his only son for an average person, uh, that doesn't make any sense. You're not average. Mm -hmm. You can make it and uh, just surround it, uh, yourself with good people and they will, you know, lead you. To, to the better life.